We're going to have some fun and make an artwork together. So you're all going to make your own artwork. So when I made that artwork, I made it out of a little cardboard model. And then I thought, how can I make it big? So what we're doing here today is we're working with a whole range of different kind of found materials. So recycled materials, textures, crepe paper, containers, egg cartons. My name's Ramesh, and you can see me over there. And I'm with the artwork that I made. But what do you think it's made from? Uh, it might be made out of wood. If you look at the body, I made that out of clay first, and then we turned it into metal. Can you see there's a base, the big concrete block? Yeah. And then there's a body, yeah. and then there's a head. So you're going to use the materials that you see to make a base a body, and a head. So you've got some challenges. Most important part is to choose a base. So you could use this, you can use this, and they're all around. Then you need to start taping a kind of body onto it. You know when you make art, you don't have to be all neat and tidy, there are no rules. And you don't have to be quiet, right? You can like have fun. Like... <laughs> Can we make ourselves? Yeah. yeah! But the hardest part is going to be to get this base ready. Because that's a little bit tricky. But sometimes tricky is good. Who needs some help starting? There we go. Yeah, it's your welcome. The idea of what we're doing now is to be quite quick and quite expressive, so these kinds of unexpected material relationships emerge. An alien? All right, let's go for it. Do you want a nose? Yeah, I reckon make two legs. I think we need some bodies happening, because well, we've got lots of heads, but how are we going to you know, put them up. Ryder, look at what the eyes are down. Can we sit that on there? Okay, so now that we've built these figures out of all these fun materials, I think now it's about elaborating them, adding colours, adding textures, adding other materials to kind of really give it some character. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I love it. Oh. A chicken. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay. Well, how are we going to tape that? Tape? What do you think? Tape. All right, let's get it. The question I get all the time is, have you always been an artist? Have you always wanted to be an artist? Or when did you start painting? Or when did you start drawing? And I, my answer is always, you know, three, since I was three years old. You know, I've always just loved to make art. I've loved to draw, I've loved to paint. Mine's done. I am finished now. You're finished now. Maybe you need to give him a name. Brody. Who's Brody? Performance piece. It's a hat. Okay, that's very conceptual. I like that. Is that what you're saying? Yeah? I love it. I love blue hair. Be a little bit careful. Woo! The nature of the activity was basically provide a whole range of possibilities by lots of different materials that were either textural and different colours and providing a very loose framework. I didn't want to be too prescriptive in what they were invited to do and I think a little bit of direction and then kind of letting the materials and letting the energy flow is really part of that and I think that's how lots of good artworks are actually made. 
me, it's just letting my art ideas flow and not trying to keep them in my head. I love art because you can, you can create it and make it look like something. Sometimes if I'm sad or down, it just calms me down by doing art. Oh, that's good. Me too, actually. 